Hey guys, this week on the Awesome Cast, it's iPhone, 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 Google, Google, a little bit of PlayStation Vita TV, and a little bit more than that. Stay tuned. This edition of Awesome Cast is brought to you by PittsburghOnVideo.org. Check out the best videos from Pittsburgh all in one place, PittsburghOnVideo.org. Want to have your business or podcast featured on the show? Contact us at info at sorgatronmedia.com. Subject line, advertising. I'm getting awesome. You're getting awesome. We're getting awesome. Yeah, that's what I said now. I'm getting awesome. You're getting awesome. We're getting awesome. Yeah, that's what I said. Hey, guys. Welcome to the Awesome Cast 166. Mike Sorg here in the in the studios here in Pittsburgh, PA. Uh, ready to talk geek. Ready to get Apple-y today. And actually, we do have a little bit of Google to talk about. I hope you enjoy last week's mostly Android show because I, I you know, it, it just gonna it's just gonna pull the other way. It's gonna be less comparisons. I think everybody here is fairly iPhone based. Malingo, you're still iPhone, right? I am iPhone okay. five ish. So five ish. Yes. Fish. Uh, on the couch. He's back. It's a long time since you've been on the show here, sir. Malengo Akpo Samba. He's at Rambling Mango, ramblingmango.com. He's touching his face. I'm here in the flesh. <laughs> he, so. is. he is. No, we, we just started something tonight. Uh, can You you want to tell the people what we just started here at Sorgatron Media? Yeah, okay. Movie Minutes. Movie Minutes. Where we just, we just talk movies. That's what we do. We and spoil. And a little bit of TV. And a little bit of TV. We will get more into TV. That could TV. be like the underline of the show. It's going to be like the movie minute. And a little bit of TV. And a little bit of TV. Like that's, you stick down the logo there while you're We just it. kind of fight that out. Yeah, TV. there you go. There, there you go. So you're on with us to talk iPhone and everything. Also joining us, somebody who's no stranger to the, the doing iPhone coverage with us, Mike Pound uh, from the Beaver County Times, timesonline.com. He's got so many iDevices. Look at all the iDevices. Look at these things I got. Look at all those things. How you doing, sir? I'm doing great, Mike. How are you? All right. Now you're the tech beat. I know you got it. You got a lot going on today. It's got to be a busy day for you. Uh, I, I have to convince everybody that it's really important that I do nothing else for two hours, but follow <laughs> the, uh, the the live blogs of, of the announcement, uh, and then I have to write about it, um, and then I rush home so I could be on the show too. So there you go. So yeah, busy day, but but uh, it's a lot better than actually working. If not, you not love tech, good. if you love tech, if you write tech, this is like the day for you. This is like it, it, this is kind of the holiday, isn't it? Right. Um, uh, well, it, it, it's exactly the holidays. This is, this is where we find out what we're going to spend all our money on. Exactly. For, for, for Christmas. But only one thing. There's still a couple things that could be coming up, but we'll get into that. Of course, this is the awesome cast, guys. Uh, you can check out all the episodes over at sorgatronmedia.com as well as all the other fine products uh, that we're putting out there and DVDs and all that kind of stuff. I encourage you, I implore you, sign up for that mailing list so you don't miss anything, including like new shows that we're starting here with Malengo or new DVDs, new productions. It's not all wrestling. It's not all tech. It's a little bit of everything, and we're having a great time with it. Uh, you can drop us a line to contact at awesomecast.com. Also, at at AwesomeCast on Twitter. I was sharing a lot of kind of co-live tweeting uh, today's iPhone announcements uh, with my own Sorgatron uh, uh, Twitter as well as AwesomeCast. Uh, and we're getting a lot of really good reaction, a really good response from that today as well. Uh, and like I said, Google+, Plus, Facebook as well. Uh, really good conversations we're having, especially with uh, uh, Nero out there um, over <laughs> on the uh, Google+. Plus. Uh, so, so, okay, that was it. Where, where do we start? So it was all iPhone. It was all iPhone. Nothing but yeah. iPhone. Yeah. Basically. There was no iPods, there was no iPads, there was no TVs, there was no watches, there was no books or uh, MacBooks or anything. Um, so, I, I, well, let's let's start with it. Well, iOS is going to come out next Wednesday at this point, mm -hmm. the 18th. Yeah. Um, I know, well, well, I think most of us here have at least a 4S from the looks of things. Uh, yes. So, whether we get a new phone or not, uh, we're all getting it, right? Yes, okay. I mean, we, as soon as possible. As soon as possible. Um, I, and, I, and unfortunately, we had somebody that was going to be on the show tonight that I think has been playing with the beta, so we don't have uh, as much of a hands-on uh, thing about it. But from what you're seeing so seen the far, beta you have seen the beta yeah. live. I have a little bit, too. Uh, uh, what are you guys thinking about iOS as far as you know how much it's going to change what your phone's going to do? Hey, right now, I like it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I... I think it was time for something new, mm -hmm. and uh, I think it looks. I think it looks cool. Mm -hmm. I know there are people out there that hate it. There are people that don't like the color format. People <laughs> com people complain about the font. 
That. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is Apple. It were the it was the first company that thought about the font, wasn't yeah, yeah. it? Um, Seriously, right? I mean, really. I, it, it, so, so that the, this is where the designers go is the Mac. So they're going to complain about the font. Now oh, these guys own Helvetica on DVD and Blu-ray. Okay, I, and they're going to complain about the font. <laughs> Right. I, I, own, I, own, I own Helvetica on DVD. <laughs> you do? <laughs> it, yeah, it, yeah. That's amazing. And, and I saw it in the theater. Like, <laughs> so you're exactly. So what do you? How do you feel about the? Font? I'm not. I am not complaining about the fonts. Um, I I think it, it it's it's going to look nice. And um, uh, you know, for those of us who, who who don't have the money to go out and 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 buy one of the actual new devices as soon as it's ready, this this will be um, a, a significantly different experience. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I I can't wait to see. Uh, it, uh, I'm going to turn this loose on my 4S first. Uh, that's the work phone, mm-hmm. um, and uh, I'm 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 as excited about that as I am about the uh, the, the new devices that they they mentioned today. Um, I think that it potentially could be a bigger deal. I mean, that is one of the cool things. Like it, it always seems like you get a nice refresh on the hardware you own. You don't. I mean, as much as you want to, when you salivate over those new features and the new phones and the new colors today, we'll get to. Um, you don't like. I I remember getting a th- having the three GS and they had the new iOS and it did feel like I had a new phone. Like I got mm-hmm. like most of the features in the multitasking. Um, I got enough of a refresh to last me that extra year. You know, yeah. and really, I mean, this OS it's it's going all the way back. If you have an iPad, you really look out because it's all the way back to iPad two. Well, that's um, awesome. I'm still hosed on my iOS five on my iPad one. Unfortunately, I wish I would have waited four more months now um, to get that. But uh, all the way back to iPhone four, I think that makes sense. Um, if you're on a three GS, well, I don't think they they haven't sold a three GS for about a year, so it makes sense. You got at least two years out of that, right? Uh, ideally, um, so. Uh, it's not like it doesn't still work, you know. So the one thing that I didn't, that I did hear a lot of complaints about is the almost flat looking color palette. It mm-hmm. seems like a lot of people were complaining about like uh, yeah, like the chat eye chat yeah. where everything just looks like almost comic tune ish. <laughs> uh, I you know I can understand that, but to be honest, in two weeks are people still going to be. Like, are they really going to care? I really think we're going. I, I think we really go back and forth with this. I mean, as we got more fidelity in our in our visuals and our in our monitors and our screens, like that, we wanted things to pop out at us more, right? We wanted <laughs> yeah. texture to everything. Now we're going the other way around, and we're like, we want clean, simple. Like this is the sign of the time. The design uh, the websites are doing the same thing as that clean, simple. You know, mm-hmm. kind of thing where it used to be so complex five years ago, right? Yep. Uh, especially with the start of Web Point Two Point Up. I mean, it, it, and everything is just is like edges. So, um, I'm, I'm I'm looking forward to the to the, to the flat stuff. I'm mm-hmm. um, and maybe this is just a just a boredom on my part, but you know, we, we've we've had the textures designs uh, since the inception of the iPhone, um, and I'm I'm ready for something different. Yeah. Yeah, and that's a big thing as well, you know, and a lot of people complain that while Android has been, you know, evolving year over year and how many different iterations, like whatever the carriers are doing to them. Um, Again, like I've been telling you on the show, I got a Nexus 7 and I'm really impressed with what uh, Android by itself can do, like without all the, you know, cropping and everything of of a, you know, LG or or a Samsung phone. I I really like that experience for the most part. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know if I want it for a phone necessarily, but I do enjoy it as like a work seven inch laptop. I can get some things done uh, kind of situation. I'm really, it's starting to grow. I'm about a month in on it, um, and I'm kind of getting used to it. still kind of hate the keyboard, but. So are you one of those people who are disappointed that the screen size didn't change for the iPhone? Not really. I'm, I'm still on the 4S. I'm still like, oh, I'm going to have to get a bigger screen, really? Um, I'm matters? still, I, I don't know. I, don't, I haven't used uh, the 5 at any extent. Um, the people that do use the 5 on a regular basis say, you're going to notice the difference and you're going to like that you have the difference. You know. But I still mm. think there's a lot of people. I mean, you have this with Android. There's a lot of selection. Uh, you do have a 4S you can pick up if you still want a little a, a smaller screen, if, you, if that's a little intimidating for you. I think the giant like 5-inch screens are a little ridiculous when it comes to Android devices. Size personally, matters. personally, I wouldn't do that. Um, but uh, sure, you know, I, I don't have a problem with the idea of it. I'll pick it up. I, I'm fine with that. You know, if it means I can get more stuff on the screen and get more stuff done, yeah, sure. 
you know? I, I mean, I'm, see, I'm seeing the difference between how much I get done on, on my little 4S versus, like, oh, I'd rather bring that, uh, even though I don't like how Android dis displays things where it's really just kind of like a big phone app. I don't get the columns and Hootsuite, for instance, yeah. like I do on my mm -hmm. iPad if I had an iPad mini because it scales down and not up. Um, but I do like still having that space to do something. So I, I, I'm okay with it. I, I'm going to be perfectly fine, I think, with, with, with that, that update. Um, and it sounds like a lot of people are, so... Yep. Uh, so uh, well, that's iOS. So we're all going to get that. And we're going to see what that is, and we're going to see how people react to it. I'm really worried about my in-laws that just went out to California that are going to pick it up in a week and say, "What the heck happened to my phone?" <laughs> um, so, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, I, I mean, I really think like this is this is the problem. If you have family, friends that are not terribly tech savvy, uh, and they don't know this is coming, start informing them now because you're, if you're the one that gets called on this kind of stuff, you like open the lines on Wednesday, okay? Um, I'm really considering, like, hey, I, I, like, I, I wanted to send her a text earlier today and be like, hey, you, and I think, I think I've already told her this in person. I'm like, you know that the new OS is going to be wildly different and you are going to have to relearn a few things. Um, Spotlight comes from the top and not the left, for instance. I was, I was, they were talking about today. Do they, uh, the whole thing from the, the, where all the utilities from the bottom, uh -huh. which is nice and it makes sense once you get into it, but there, there's that little stuff. I mean, are they forcing you to do the upgrade? No, no. You can no. sit there and not do the update, but it's one of those things where as you go and things require it, yeah. and it sounds like there's a lot of services that are going to be in this that it may require it sooner than later. Like, I'm still fine on my iOS 5 yeah. iPad, you know. Um, there's people that have not updated, you know, certain <coughs> OSs. Somebody, somebody texted today and said they were still on 5. Like Somebody was tweeting about that. It's like, oh, I huh. guess I should upgrade by now. It's like, Okay, do it. Yeah. You know what's stopping you? You know, um, I understand people being worried about it, but it's it's kind of like you want that update for security amongst anything else. Um, but I guess people don't think about that with Apple. No, big security problems. That's true. So, um, so the phones, the hardware. The first thing we got a new. Can I say quote new yeah. phone? It's new enough apparently to be called a new phone. <laughs> um, the uh, the. Oh, the rumor, the the new in the line iPhone 5C. I keep swapping the letters because the new one. So I think it's gonna it's the new letter in the line. So I keep thinking this is gonna be, you know, the new phone. Um, mm -hmm. So I've swapped that multiple times. I think on Twitter and text messages today. Multiple colors. Yep. There you go. Okay. There you uh, are. It's a new wow. kind of unibody back. They were talking about. It's polycarbonate <laughs> plastic thing. There's a steel uh, reinforcement below it. <laughs> Um, like, should I have said all that in an accent? Is that is that is that how <laughs> I just like the fancy? <laughs> I like the fancy name for plastic. <laughs> poly, poly, poly polycarbonate. Carbonate. Polycarbonate. It's polycarbonate. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. It's like, oh, okay. Um, but you know, and like, and I think it, it it tricked me for a minute, and I'm like, oh, there's a blue one. My wife will love it. But I'm like, wait, this is last year's phone. This yeah. is still last year's yes. phone. It's an iPhone five with a new jacket. Yeah. That's it. That's it. They didn't really do anything different than they've done in years past, other than mm -hmm. they gave a new design because they want to change the design this year, which we saw with the C. Yep. More or less. They got a C3PO version, other than that. Um, but it gave you something to send Johnny Ive out there and make a cool video about how important design is. And there you go. And now we have multiple colors. Yeah. Um, and you have accompanying cases to go along with them. Which. <laughs> confused the hell out of me yeah i'm like why so i got a blue one but i'm gonna put a case on it but I it's mean, a complimentary blue case okay. so i'm not losing the blue that i'm covering up maybe i'm the only one but i've never bought any of the cases from apple like i always go like the best buy i pick out like the coolest looking dude, one dude five below five below yeah <laughs> my wife well, that's where my wife goes it says it makes no sense it's uh i you know I, and, and it is and i, I do worry a little bit that I think there's going to be people that bought the iPhone 5 last year, saw this, oh, it's newer, but it's cheaper, and they're going to pick it up oh, geez. thinking they got a new phone when it's really just the same as last year's and wonder why it's dragging in another year from now. You know, I, I, I'm, that thought hit me, and I'm just kind of worried. There, there's Johnny Ive telling us how wonderful this cheap new phone is. That's great. That's great. Um, sir, Johnny Ive, Johnny Ive, by the way. Um, 
But sure, you know, it makes sense. It kind of iPodifies this stuff again. Yeah. Doesn't it? Uh, yeah, it does. It does. I mean, and I, go, the, the, the question I have about this, when I, I think about um, Apple and its history, is it, are they doing this because they have to? Mm-hmm. Are they doing this because they they want to and they think it's important? I don't. I mean, this this isn't something the company would would have done five years ago. That this and the iPad Mini, um, that's. I, I'm not sure if, if Apple's reacting to the market or still trying to drive it. And I, I know what I know what Jobs would have would have uh, thought about this uh, mm-hmm. had it happened a few years ago. Um, granted, the market's a little bit different now, but uh, yeah. I think it's I think it's smart because they get to well one you gotta think this design that they did here one they have to make something new but it's mm-hmm. probably cheaper for them to make that body in that's the true room, making that yeah, one piece be. like that so that, so instead of just knocking that down making it more or less the same they actually made it better which they're already doing revisions on the inside we see this with game consoles all the time they're probably doing the same here and, and I mean an iPhone an iPhone 5 being made now as an iPhone 5 mm-hmm. uh, as the mm-hmm. old model is not the same cost as a year ago you know uh, so mm-hmm. they just did that and you know, maybe because I mean, the way it's looking, maybe they made things a little smaller with the iPhone five components so they could do all your curvy edges and stuff. Yeah, I think uh, the iPhone has been getting pretty <laughs> angular lately, yep. and that's not very Apple. Yeah, that's design true. wise. So, um, it just good. I mean, I, I think this is a mix of necessity versus innovation. I mean, when you open it up, there's you know they they like the clout that oh now we have the first phone. The 64-bit processor in it. Well, yeah, and that's the next one. So, so, and I kept getting tricked, and I was like, "Oh, yeah, maybe we'll wife will get this. She can get the cheaper phone. That's cool. I'll get like the crazy one." I started saying, "Okay, you have this, and now you have the Mac Pro of phones." Because they talked yeah. about this and how good yeah. it was, and it really is like the new one is the Mac Pro of phones. Mm-hmm. Um, the new uh, the 5C comes in such elite colors as as. As gold. silver and gold, <laughs> by the way. I'm waiting for the first person uh, to paint this thing up as C-3PO. Um, <laughs> it, it, it's got to. When I saw that shade, I'm like, it's, 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 it's C-3PO. I'm waiting okay. for the gold paint to chip away and it just be from this tacky <laughs> like. Exactly. Um, it's... This is the phone I'm getting. Yeah, this is this is my upgrade path. I'm going from the 4s to the the 5s. Are you in the S series? I'm in the S series. Right. I, I did the 3GS. Well, I had the original one I got from you secondhand. Yep. Uh, I went 3GS. I, I went 4s. So I'm on the S line of things. Although the weird part is, I keep saying this, I'm not feeling hurting for a new phone like this at this time when I got it when I was on the 3GS. Hmm. When I I could not wait to move off of the 3GS, and right now I have the 4s. That has Siri. That does mostly everything. It's not a bigger screen, but it gets everything done. Have you not been seeing any lag with like your games and stuff? Uh, not, not. I mean, uh, the minion run doesn't work too well. Uh, <laughs> the, the the Despicable Me minion run yeah. game was a little rough. Um, I mean, but mostly I've been playing Angry Birds and Plants vs Zombies on there. Interesting. Um, I know. It surprised me too. You know, or, or games oh. that are 3D that like worked fine on the 3GS. I'm playing on Carmageddon, a uh, little bit of GTA. Um, it definitely works better than my iPad one. Uh, but as far as getting around, yeah, Twitter takes a little bit longer to load, but not nearly as lag worthy as, as like, again, this time on the three GS. See, like, I, I don't know. This whole thing has been like kind of interesting to me. I feel like I had two responses to it. The first one was why would I buy the plastic phone? You shouldn't, you shouldn't. It's not for you. It's not for you. It's crazy. It's it's um. Uh, what, how did they put it? Um, this is not for the people that are already buying iPhones. These are for the people that are like coming from somewhere else. This is I, I, I way I put it was okay. So now because before you would have a five in this position where this five C is. Yeah. And it's going to look exactly the same as the per, as the rest of us that bought the brand new crazy five C, right? Or five S. I keep I can't I keep mixing those up. Um, <laughs> so uh, now. 
it's identifiable. I and mean, that's the thing. Like now, oh, you're the one with the gold phone. You you put the money on that. It's more of a status symbol. Yeah. And then like the soccer moms and teenagers most likely are going to get that five C. The parents will be like, well, it's just as good as this one. Da 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 da. You don't need. You know, the parents, the you know, parents and the kids probably don't give a crap about. Oh, it's 64 bit processing. Look at that camera. It's, it's slow. True. Little, holy crap. Da 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 da. You know, they're like, it's an iPhone. Well, now that you think this this. Do you think this dilutes the market? So for us that, you know, don't dish out 200 or whatever the face value is of a phone, 750 or whatever, Mm -hmm. every time a new one comes out, now you have a market where even your resale value is being diluted Mm -hmm. by, you know, the iPhone 5s are basically, they're saying they're gone. They are. They are. They've been disappeared from the market. They're just poof. So I told my one coworker he should run out and find the 5 now. Yeah, because it's, 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 it might be a little cheaper, but also I think it's making a lot of people forget that this is last year's phone. So it's, yeah. they're going to sell a ton of them, and they're like, well, it's still the new-ish one, right? It doesn't look like they're selling last year's hardware, but they are selling last year's hardware with a new jacket. Yeah. They I, really are. I thought they did a pretty clever job, too. Of oh, like they were, kinda, oh, they were super smart about it. It's, it. it's, it's very the sky. It may feel like, well, maybe this is the one I should get. Yeah. You know, this is pretty like, new. I don't have to put all that money into it. Okay, that'll be all right. <laughs> Wait, it's last year's phone, you idiot. Um, It almost got me, right? Like it's, it's kind of funny. Like, you go to certain sites where you can compare, you know, products and apple will usually let you compare their products not with the iphones no they do did I mean, they i, I couldn't the, find it no, today i have the page right here oh that's awesome iPhones, there it is i mean it's very straightforward if you that's look awesome. at it it is definitely the specs they should, they should the, just say old phone it's the <laughs> well you have the 4s <laughs> here too and you gotta think like okay your starting phone your free phone and i don't know if there's what the comparison is on the android side nope that's the wrong mic this is me mike there we go uh the, the comparison side on the android phone I, uh, but you have a free 99 cent whatever phone that has a dual core freaking processor Okay, that's why I think that's why it's not really feeling that slow to me, because it was such a good phone to begin with. I think we're getting to that point where, like we see with PCs, where that curve has flattened out. I think we're getting there here. Uh, What do we have? We had dual core with the the 4S. 5C was just what a little bit faster and they added LTE. Um, And with this new one, we have 64 bit. Uh, Let's see what's going to really take advantage of that. But still, like it's. It's that numbers game a bit more. Like they, they, it, it's not we put a faster processor that has so many teraflops. It's technology and multitudes and everything like that. You know, I'm kind of surprised we don't have a four core processor in this thing at this point. So I think they they've started those in some of the Uber phones or something like that. Well, the one thing I, I didn't check on the specs. I don't know if any of you could uh, attest to this, but the camera features that they were. They never showed said the megapixels when they showed it off. They didn't show the um, megapixels, but, but some of the features could take advantage of that faster processor. Yes. I, I'm i trying to yeah. find the camera <laughs> itself. Video recording, EyeSight camera, 8 megapixels. Now, they're saying 8 megapixels with a 1.5 U funny, flicky thingy pixels. I don't know. So, any photography people out there. Yeah. Um, but no, like, there was stuff they talked about with that camera that was well over my head. The flash is better with skin tones. Um, a lot of the processing, and this is one of those things I've been hearing about, like, man, I wish the, the iPhone is a really, really good camera, but there's some that are kicking its ass on the Android and even the Windows phone side with the Lumina. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they needed to update that and they need to reassert their dominance as far as that that the picture thing and we'll see what happens in a couple weeks when we get some tests and the, and the photo people get on it but um uh it, it's pretty i think it's pretty significant i, I, mm-hmm. I it, 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 one cool thing that's happening is um instead of trying to make all the good visual stuff happen in that lens it's happening in software one of the things they were describing today was um it's taking uh, several pictures basically when you hit that button it's taking the best bits of all those pictures including like the parts that are in focus and and the best lighting between all of them. it assesses that in the software on that chip yeah and puts together a picture that's, that's that. better than it was before that is ridiculous and this is technology that's been like again kicking butt in some of the higher end like you know uh, android phones and everything I think the debate will still, like, I know Windows, was it Windows 8 phone that has, like, the big, it's like, this is the new camera phone? It's a, yeah, it's one of the Nokia's, yeah. It's yeah. A, yeah, so, Lumia, sorry. 
is yeah, that it's Lumina, Lumina or whatever? Yeah. Yeah, I'm still. I'd still like to have that debate with people, the true photographers that are just you know with their Nikon's and their Canons. They're not going to care about this, and I think the no. average person. Well, I think more and more they are. Uh, you I, think mean, so? I mean, I think certain level of people are like, no, I have to have a camera with a lens, and I have to do it. So the thing is, with these cameras on the phones, a lot of this. <laughs> A bunch of like one of the comments I read the other day was how Instagram made everybody a good photographer, or at least think a little more about their photography. Yeah, this yeah. is like okay, now we're going to do a lot of the work of being a good photographer for you. You know, mm-hmm. the ca- the camera and the phone is like software processing a better picture, so you don't have to. So now, I mean, as it is, we're already uploading all of our pictures to Google Plus, and they're auto enhancing and auto awesoming all the pictures to make them all more <laughs> kick ass. You know, they're auto-awesome. they're 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 giving you a highlight and say this is obviously a better picture. Our algorithm says so, and now you look like a good <laughs> photographer. You know, I mean, has anybody done that? I mean, I, I was doing it on the iPhone even before I got all these these Google devices. You know, um, I. Am I, are you guys on that too? Uh, it, it, we do some. Uh, the, the, actually, the photographers I work with like the phones. Um, they, they, they will they will say that in, in some circumstances, um, you know, they, they still all have the, the you know the full size gear and everything that they always use and they're always going to use. They they will say in in a lot of circumstances because this is less conspicuous because this. Isn't uh, you know a 500 lens? I yeah, yeah. Even show so you it doesn't how long this attract is. Uh, attention, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, you you can get closer to a subject. You can, um, in a lot of circumstances, you can you can um, you can get more personal shots. Mm-hmm. Um, but they they uh, in some circumstances they use this. Um, they and and they and they do good work with it. Um, even without you know Instagram, although a couple of our photographers love playing with Instagram, they are there on that's it awesome. constantly. That's awesome. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, um, and they're gonna. I didn't get a chance to talk to them today about the uh, the upgrades uh, to the camera, um, but I, I think that's something that at least a couple of them um, will 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 take a look at. They they we, we all got we got we got four S's uh, through work. Um, everybody uses those a lot. I, I would imagine a couple of photographers uh, who really enjoy using them might start poking at the company uh, for a, a, a 5S or a couple of them just to, to see what they can and, do with them. And you know, though, I, I really can't. Uh, if, if you know, I would I would normally caution somebody if they were getting a 4 or a 3GS when they were the free phones. I mm-hmm. caution less and less people about getting a 4S for free. I think that's oh, yeah. a killer deal. I really it, it do. Is, it is. It is. I mean, oh. how much phone that is. And again, like I want to. I I don't actively look, but I like to compare that to what other phones are offering at that level. Mm-hmm. Usually, it's the cruddy, holy crap, that's Android two something. It barely works. Yeah. You know, uh, of phones. We can give I Apple think. credit for that. Oh yeah. For sure. Oh yeah, they're driving. Yeah. You know, in in one aspect, they are driving that price per features down. It seems. Yeah. Um, I, that's great. I, I I really can't fault that. It's a good starter phone for that. If you have a little bit more, you have your cool colors with your uh, you know other one mm-hmm. with the five uh, C, um, and then there's the you know Mac Pro of the five S, and then that is oh sorry, okay. uh, that is <laughs> your face again, <laughs> uh, and that really is. Now I don't know if I want a gold or a silver one, so I think I mean I think I'm going black myself. I, I think the gold is a little much. Well, that's for me. that's space gray. Yeah. And can I mention how beautiful these sites are when they do something like this? This tells you it's the Mac Pro because it's got this yeah. crazy uh, scrolling that happens here. <laughs> Uh, just like the Mac Pro site d- does if you're on uh, 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 the Apple website. Oh, well, let's talk about that advanced security. Advanced security. The, uh, oh, yeah. Let's uh, pop fingerprint. that up. Whoop. There it fingerprint is. Fingerprint home screen or so home button. This is, and oddly, I didn't have any advances as far as video. Uh, nothing more to excite me as far as video. Other than the cool mm-hmm. thing is you take uh, you can take slow-mo video and mm-hmm. take stills out of that and turn them into pictures, which again, I know Android's had that yeah. certain phones for a while. I'm sure it's catch up. We update once a year, guys, come on. It, yeah. it's, it makes sense, <laughs> you know? Um, we the, use you know, third party. I mean, if you want to list me the things that Android has had for a year that did not get rolled into this, this version or this phone, <laughs> then we can talk. But uh, the, the we've had it. No, the, we are going to update a year. You know, we're going to update a year. Uh, that's great. We, I only update, we're only updating our phones once a year. I don't know how much, Android people are, but there are people that do. Yeah. You know, they're more kind of 
tech heads about it. So, uh, okay, so so this is the thing that's going to guarantee that Chachi is not going to pick up my phone and make Siri call me, uh, 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 you know, who knows what. You know, uh, or or change my phone to Spanish again. Uh, this is the thing. I'm awesome. I, I flying free without a passcode for a while because I just don't want to mess with it. You know, uh, right, it's cumbersome, right? That whole French. four digits, I can't do that. Uh, I kind of wish I had the swipe thingy from from Android. To yeah. Be honest. You know, okay, there's a feature I do wish we had. Um, like I'm making buy an Android phone, but still, it's just kind of like, oh, that's cool. Um, so maybe this is better if it works out. It's so, they believe in it so much, this finger recognition software, that they are tying it to your iTunes account, aka your freaking credit card. Yeah. So when you see people walking around the streets of New York City with machetes, you know why. <laughs> Everybody goes. And like they're like, I'm going to that point where like Demolition Man, where he ripped the guy's eye out for the retina scanner. I mean, obviously that's what's going to happen, right? Um, I need that iPhone. No, all right, all right. Just, just let me let so, me swipe so, real quick. Wait, so so uh, to put this in a case that actually happened, when Norm had the the phone swiped out of his hand, they might have taken his hand as well. Yes. Okay. So he made out good with that one. Um, that's good to see. Uh, that no. makes it easier for, to spot those guys because they got to get. They have to. Have, it's got to be a machete. For an axe, you know how yeah. hard it is to conceal a machete. Seriously, but in this, but that's especially what. in the hot months, what what they'll do is they'll they'll stick you up and they'll politely ask you if you can swipe your phone before. <laughs> no, just want to let you know, I will be taking pardon, this phone. I'm just going to need you to me, sir. roll your <laughs> thumb across. <laughs> Um, and, and then they, there was a, uh, they did get, um, I, I didn't catch too much of the information when they were talking about it exactly, uh, but I, I did hear Andy Anako was in the demo room talking about it. He says, yeah, it does work pretty good. They, they're letting everybody train their finger, they train it with their finger real quick and yeah. testing it out. And it's not a press, it's a hold your finger. You, it's like, I think they said it's like, you press it like you hit the home button to like turn it on and it just... Uh, it, it detects it. Okay. You just mm -hmm. hold it there for a little bit longer. So it's not like I got press hard. I don't know how well those scanners work on like Lenovo laptops or anything like that. So it, it, and I don't think they would have put this out if it wasn't ready. And it's been this long, and I think this is their answer to security over at NFC. Mm -hmm. you know? I mean, if, I, I, if I never have to type my, my Apple password again, I'll be happy. <laughs> yeah, really exactly. All I care about. Exactly. I think it's a great idea, right? Yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd like to see it in action. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah. I think there are loopholes where people might. And that's where this becomes a professional phone, the Mac Pro of phones. Yeah. Because the professional is like, I don't want anybody on my phone, but I want it to be, uh, you know, the worst part of security is doing security, right? Yeah. Uh, is making a good password, is, is even turning the password on. Your business phone guy with whatever, PNC bank or whatever, this is your option. And I think it's a good option. This works as advertised. I think it's going to be great. When's the last time? I mean, Apple was never really the security company. Yeah, that's I don't kind know. of that's kind of like that a, happened. Yeah, <laughs> it's like this was kind of left field as far as features, yeah. like as Apple as a whole, right? Like, uh, did it catch you guys? Other than like the fact that we've heard about it for six months, is it did it catch you guys off guard? Well, I mean, I don't. It didn't catch me off guard. I think it definitely needed to be addressed. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I just think it's unique. Uh, you know, it's it's, I guess, something new. <laughs> that it is. It's it it, it has the, uh, the oh wow that's cool factor. Um, and and I and they made a good point in the keynote today, when they said people don't bother to set up the the, the four digit the the pin. I. I I, I set it up like once a year, and I think about you know I read something about security. I'm like I'm like oh hell I got to do that, and within a day I turn it off because it just <laughs> exactly. makes me insane. Exactly. Um, and and this is this is a good way around it. Apple, it, it's good PR for Apple. They're they're addressing security issues at a time when 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 everyone's thinking about that stuff. Um, but they've they've made it if with the caveat if this works as advertised. Um, they've they put something in place that, that makes it easy, um, you know, make users feel better, uh, makes everyone feel better about Apple, and means I, I don't have to you know type my password every time I, I want to download a song off iTunes, which, like like I said before, that's yes, excellent, excellent. Um, so other than that, I mean that that was basically all the big news today. Yeah, right? I think so. Elvis Costello. Closed out the ceremonies. Yep. I, um, I have nothing about I, that. I liked all the Kanye jokes. 
Those were funny. We noticed how much they were talking about Lady Gaga at the beginning. Oh, they were yes. all about the Lady Gaga. Like, nice. like, and she was mentioned a couple of times throughout throughout there too. Uh, so, I, the iTunes movie series, or I'm sorry, uh, the concert series. That's just next, next free week, concerts right? in Europe. So, a couple of them already happened. Oh, really? Lady Gaga, apparently. You can apparently mm-hmm. watch them. Already. You can apparently watch them like for free through iTunes. Yeah, and I watched them last little, year. Last year was pretty good. Hey, guy, that's a really cool concept. I kind of stumbled on it like like minutes before while I was getting ready to to mm-hmm. see what was going on. Um, oh, so. did they? I missed this part of it. Did they talk about the uh, the i not the i match the radio feature? Did that come up? They Briefly. talk did, did, they, like during the iOS thing, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did, they, did they say anything new? I it felt like all the iOS stuff was just review. The, I, they, they've talked an awful lot about the, the new iOS. Um, you know, the last couple different things that they've done. So I did they I felt like they kind of went through that really quickly. Yeah. Um yeah. they That's... spent more time on on uh iTunes radio what uh the last one would have been WWDC. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Uh, it's but they mentioned it but it's really really quick. Yeah. So I mean we know it's coming and everybody's going to yeah. be able to play with it next week. The death of yeah. Pandora. The, the death of Pandora apparently. We'll see. We'll see. I I'm still liking my Pandora. I'm still I am. paying for it. I'm okay with it. <laughs> Uh, uh, Missy's starting to go over Spotify. I'm wondering how that's going to go. I was like, oh, I'll try it. One of my subscription ends. Um, so I, I'm again I'm going from 4S. I feel like I'm going to get this anyways because I am trained to more or less. <laughs> you know, no, but it's not that. Like I get that, and we do a phone pass down thing. So yeah. both our phones go to her parents, and then like one of those phones goes to my dad and stuff. So yeah. like there's this order of importance thing. Uh, one thing I, I well, well first before I get to that, so uh, well, what's your take on Lingo? I mean, is this a buy for you, or get at the point where you're buying one in general? What, what's your usual process? I'm uh, I'm solid numbers. I am okay. I don't I don't do the letters. It's like picking evens and odds. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I so will wait for the. You get the first draft. I get the uh, refined version. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I am waiting for the the nice number six. Okay. So nice round number six. The only way I do this is if I don't know my brother like does something awesome for me. I'm like, all right, I'll <laughs> I'll see how I can work this out. He wanted a five. Yeah. A lot of people were disappointed because they seem to have wanted the fives. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So hearing that the fives are you know gone. But they're not. Be like, no, you can get a five, but it can be pink if you wanted to. Yeah, <laughs> plasticky. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, that's, yeah. that's my normal progression. I, I have the 4S from work, and and as you said, I, I it, it's this is great fun, and it's uh, even if work doesn't upgrade us for a while, I'm I'm going to be happy with You're that. Okay. My normal w- working as I do on you know a house full of print journalism salaries, you know we've we've always been happy to. Uh, stick with the solid numbers and buy after the next solid number comes out. So my natural progression would have been to, to, to go pick up an iPhone 5 when my contract is up in, uh, I think it's November. Um, and now I'm not sure what the hell I'm going to do. Uh, I can, I, I, as you said, I can get myself a, a pink iPhone 5. Yeah. And, <laughs> and, and maybe, maybe, maybe <laughs> you know you want to. Actually, that yellow may match that shirt you're wearing. Uh, it would, yes, it would. It would. <laughs> it would. It would. It would uh, I could hold this up here, and you never even see it. Um, and so, I'm. I'm I, I had. I, luckily, I have some time to consider this because I can. I I could get, you know, spend an extra hundred bucks and and get a five S uh, when the time comes, or it'd stick with the normal progression. We'll figure that out. Um, I'm gonna see what color I want. <laughs> Isn't it? It's part of the decision now. Yeah, I know. It's a whole part of the consideration. Uh, they got you. They know what they're doing. <laughs> they know what they're doing. That variety, you know. They got like, all right. They are going to make colors. so much freaking oh, money. Dude, yes. Uh, yes, because this is the geez. you go to the mall that's in soccer mom country yeah. down the road <clears> here, and they are all picking it up. Also, notice you can pre-order the five C. I think I have this right now. Mm-hmm. It's the five C yeah. that is pre-ordering next this Friday. Correct. All the phones are releasing on the twentieth next, the Friday after. I think that is. So yeah. you can't. They and, and the speculation is they want the lines back. I'm yeah. sure there will be people camping out I, in there their be, matching uh, colors. In their matching colors of, <laughs> of, of 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 black, silver, yeah. and gold. Now we're we're team yellow. 
Like, all right, there you go. Oh no, Team Pink. I can't wait for the Samsung commercial. But it's blue now. But it's the same phone as last year. But it's blue. But it's blue. You know? <laughs> yeah. That thing uh, has always been a style thing with with uh, 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 Apple, though, right? I mean. Yes. I, I like to think some of us rise above that to the technical side of things, but in the long run, it is the yep. uh, I don't it's know part of what they do. Yeah, it, it's it what is. they do. They're they're a fashion brand as much as they're a technology brand, and this is them doing. They have a red cover, by the way, uh, the the red charity cover, hmm. not the phone, but they got the cover. So I don't know <laughs> how how that worked out. Uh, so hey, there you go. Uh, uh, what, nice. yeah, so Mike, you're you're probably waiting. Was it was the call? I think you said. Um, well, I, I, I don't get the upgrade until November. Um, there you go. So at that point, I'll figure By out. By that there. time, you won't have a waiting list, probably. And then no. I, I probably won't end up with mine until October, November either. So um, it just kind of makes sense. So Yeah. So uh, other weird thing, a little note. I was investigating a little bit uh, Apple Care. I, I, you know, I, I cracked my screen a few weeks ago, and I went and dropped the 50 bucks, got a new iPhone 4S and everything. Yeah. It was like glad i have that apple care plus it's still 99 bucks but your replacement is now going to be 79 dollars uh, instead of 49 that oh. stinks if you got a free phone yeah that's almost really bad if you got one of these hundred dollar phones <laughs> so and that's across the board if you got a new 4s a new 5c 5s mm. you know mm. um stinks but I wonder how many phones that that range that range from these six to eight hundred dollar retail on, out of contract they were handing out, you know. So I, they have to make that back. It makes sense. Um, it's better than nothing. Yeah, it's better than nothing. I'll still pay it. It's still still the the going in and getting that that experience. You know, it's fine. It's yeah, fine by me. Um, and also, oh, real quick, I work on iLife now, free for your phone on new phones. So all of us upgrading next week will not hmm. get the free i i work and uh, iPhoto and iMovie. GarageBand is not included in this. Uh, but if you buy a brand new phone, it will let you download all of them for free as part of the thing. So they the, the phone is becoming the desktop. That's one of those things where you're seeing that convergence now. On a tiny monitor. On a tiny monitor. <laughs> I've done some. I've done some iMovie editing on the phone. I, I, I well, did a little experiment. Mm -hmm. It's. It's. Mm -hmm. I like it. You know. For I, I've, I've done that for work, and and, mm -hmm. and it is. It is so nice to you know to, to shoot something for work. Sit down in your car, edit it, upload it. By the time you get back in the office, there it's, it is. It's ready to go. There it is. Ready it's, to post, it's ridiculous, right? and it looks good. The the, the pre yeah. the the preloaded stuff they have on there looks really decent. It looks frankly yeah. better than the stuff we used to use for work. Uh, I, I, <laughs> frankly, so yeah. with the technology on your phone, this better than <laughs> exactly, the technology right? used at work. <laughs> exactly. Something's wrong here. <laughs> It's well, wrong this is how many this years picture. ago, though. Um, uh, but it's it's interesting. Um, so uh, I, I'm sorry, I just blanked out on that. Uh, so <laughs> okay, uh, anything else, Apple? Before we go on, I have some decidedly non-Apple stuff to talk about. No, let's move on. Let's move on. All right. First oh. of all, I want you to let you guys know we do have a little bit of contest. We're going to have more contests here around here. Uh, unfortunately, most of them are going to be around so. wrestling, so it's going to be very focused and also you have to be in a pittsburgh area but i think a lot of this show is pittsburgh tech people so it kind of works out uh we've been uh, talking with a lot of people of course you know we do dvds of sorgatron media with the uh, renegade wrestling alliance and the international wrestling cartel uh this week we are uh, uh renegade wrestling alliance is actually having a show in west newton pa they have them out there monthly a uh, really good fun show like fun more kind of old schoolish wrestling feeling uh a great little crowd out there um it's just a uh, i think it's about a 45 minute drive down 51 uh from downtown uh but we are giving away tickets look for the tweet at mayhem show uh on twitter uh there's a tweet out there for you to retweet and follow us at mayhem show we're going to be picking a winner uh to give two tickets so if you've been like hey i want to check out some of this wrestling i want to check it out live but i don't want to be in the nosebleeds paying 20 bucks uh go check out this stuff um so like i said right down the road and uh we're going to try to do some more of this stuff uh with some of the groups in the area as well so go uh follow at mayhem show look for that tweet we retweeted it a couple times here uh, throughout the last couple days, and I think we're going to run it straight through Wednesday until we get a winner, uh, or we'll call a winner. Um, so go look for that, and uh, and follow Mayhem Show, follow at Sorgatron Media, and uh, Awesome Cast, and, 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 and we're going to put out a lot more of those contests. And thanks to everybody that participated in the uh, newsletter contest. We gave away a free uh, WWE Stars of the 90s 
I know that went to, I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but I know that went all the way south of Philadelphia. Ooh. Uh, so Ooh. thank you. Uh, far for reaching. The far reaching, exactly. I sent DVDs to Australia last month. Nice. That nice. was the, that, that won the long distance race for for uh, for shipments for Slurgatron Media. So, nice. Um, but there you go. So go please go check that out. Follow all our Twitters. We're going to try to do more of this stuff and kind of reach out to people a bit more. Uh, so let's get to the decidedly non-Apple news. We're don't, back don't, with the Google guys well first of all this thing's going back google glass is going back it's going back Did i talk about I don't, know, I don't know if i've talked about on the show what happened to it so um and i've seen some people like the same thing that happened there this is not exclusive i've seen the same thing on the board uh, apparently this has happened when it's been like out on a sunny day yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if you can see, but there is a little bit. And you're not going to see that. I'll probably put up pictures. I'm going to probably go blog about it. Um, but there's like this silver film on the end of this glass piece. Like not where mm-hmm. you look like like either way or anything like that. Um, but apparently somehow it started bubbling up. Huh. Which is kind of oh. okay. That's a little weird. And then that on top of this little plate down here would always kind of pop out too. Like pretty much ever since I got it. So I'm just kind of waiting for a worse problem to occur before I send it back. Um, and, uh, and it is getting to the point where I, I am noticing like, I'm like, wow, it's a little fuzzy like around the edges. And really it is that like bubbliness reflecting back at my eye. Huh. I've noticed. So it's, it's been a little harder to read. Not like horrible, but uh, definitely not as clear as it was before. So um, really great with that. They're like, well, uh, I can walk into one of their locations, which is <laughs> California or New York City, and I don't feel like getting another bu- mega bus ticket. Um, or they could put a $1,500 char- uh, hold on my credit card and send me one with a return label for my broken one. That's not happening either. Wow. Uh, I, I don't have a credit card, and I can't tie up a bank card with that much. Um, I got bills to pay. I like uh, your options. Yeah, yeah. I wanted, yeah option number yeah. three, which yeah. I went for, they had to send me a box. They sent me a box with a return label. A nice, like, it's a nice box. has a picture of the glass on it and yeah. everything. Um, I, I got to actually put all my cords in it, send it back. and But they next day it to you, but I sent it back to them ground. That's not fair because it's going all the way to California. California. Uh, so I'm going to be like a week without this thing. Hopefully the next day it's back. Um, so uh, it's still, it's 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 part of the program, uh, finding these flaws. Yeah. Um, I mean, sure. it, you got to say it was a limited run. So, I mean, it's going to be, I, I you know, I'm not an expert in manufacturing, but I got to think you're going to have more, you know, bad units. Yeah. You know, or finding out what the general red wing ring, red ring of death of these things is going to be yeah so um but don't walk outside when it's don't sunny. walk outside when it's yeah. sunny i was worried about the rain apparently the sun's yeah. the big yeah. culprit that's, here that's the big the evil here um <laughs> so no no they were great with that and hopefully that means i get a newer you know better made version or something like that uh so so i wonder if i can change the color you think they'll send me back a different pink? color if pink I would ask. look good on you mike you think pink yeah was there yeah. a pink there one yeah you guys wait pink like, somebody said I should have gone orange. Like I completely should have gone orange. I don't know. Do you think the really the week know. that you're without it, you'll be walking around and like? Well, no, I've already Google. been. No, no, I've already been a week with that. I haven't written. Oh. I haven't finished the blog post on it yet. But uh, Chachi had it for a week, over a week. So it's the. And I've talked about that already on the show. So just mm. briefly, um, I, I I I'm I I hate pulling my phone out of my pocket. <laughs> Chilla saw, said the same thing. Chilla was in here with a Pebble watch last week. He's like, yeah, I kind of don't want to f- pull my phone from my pocket to check stuff anymore because I want it to be right there, there, what, you know, whatever the case is. Uh-huh. I mean, that's it. And the guy at the Apple store that had a Pebble watch had the same thing. I mean, that, that's the question I ask. Anybody with wearable tech like, like that that gets notifications, I'm like, yeah. you hate taking your phone out of your pocket now, don't you? Oh, you geez. hate that, don't you? And it, I know it's such like a first world laziness issue, but it's so convenient. Just hearing that little chime in the back of my head, like literally in the back of my head and doing a nod and like, <laughs> oh, that was really funny, Big Bob. You know, I mean, that's great. Or thank you for that ASCII penis wrist. Um, not on my face. You can't do it right now, chat. Um, so, I, but, but still, and plus there was an update just rolled out this morning too. Uh, apparently it can identify songs. And also, if you Google YouTube videos, it'll actually pull up natively instead of the little weird browser that used to before. Huh. Um, I haven't investigated the rest of the notes yet with everything else. Oh, craziness going on. The, the, you know, I had to get work done today. <laughs> so, yeah. And yeah. all of this stuff. Um, so, no, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go back and get one back. But in the meantime, I got another Google thing to play with. I got my Chromecast. You can't really see oh, that. There you go. I want. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, really? People are, I, like, I felt like I got it. Like, when I saw the art, hey, your Chromecast is coming. It's like... Do I really want it still? 
Like, I couldn't remember why I wanted it. It's been so long. It's been a month and a half, right? Uh, the recap, yeah, I had everything ordered through the Google Play Store. I ordered it alongside my Nexus 7. Uh, it was like two to three weeks. I really wanted the Nexus 7 to do stuff with the Chrome or with the Google Glass. Yeah. And they're like, oh, we're hoarding your Nexus 7 because we can't split your order and you're waiting on your Chromecast. And I gave a middle finger to the Google Play Store uh, and went to Amazon. And I, had to, I was back on the waiting list for this. So it was actually supposed to come like maybe in a month and a half, according to uh, what they had put on. Uh, so like, I did a really quick unboxing video with my, with my Glass earlier put it threw it up on my youtube channel my personal youtube channel um uh oh, michael sorg if you want to look that up so I, I much like the google glass experience i'm really liking how they're doing their packaging is very apple like you know um you got your little thing opens up and this is basically boom, I, I still have the usb plug just plugged into the back of my tv but mm -hmm. this is it this is your little $35 running some kind of Chrome OS Android E. I forget what the kernel is on this thing. It's an HDMI port, plugs in. You have to plug it into a power source. It's not going to feed that. Even if you have the TV for it, it's not going to feed power off your HDMI. Mm -hmm. uh, so I have to plug it into another USB port on the TV. Thankfully, I have one. Or it gives you actually a little uh, one of the USB plug adapters to uh, plug it into a wall. Um, basically the same uh, you, mini, I guess it's micro USB that you see on your Android phones and glass and everything like that. Plugged it in, got a screen, um, it, it says it actually connected to my laptop off of Wi-Fi, so I didn't even have to get on Wi-Fi to do it, and it starts interfacing. I plug in my Wi-Fi coordinates in the browser on my laptop, and it's ready to go. Hmm. Even has you download the software on my Mac. Uh, tells me, hey, if you're on Android or iPhone, you can use uh, YouTube or Netflix on there. And sure enough, as long as I'm on the Wi-Fi here, I get a little the little screencast button that comes up, and I'm shooting my Netflix, shooting my YouTube, shooting web pages from my Chrome browser because I grabbed that extension onto my TV. Interesting. Now, I was worried about, because I was under the impression, and this is true in some cases, that if I'm on my computer, on my phone, basically I'm sending information, like my phone is the hub, my laptop is the hub for that. Yeah. So, like, I turn off my phone, it's going away, right? Mm -hmm. Not so. Not quite so. If I'm in a Chrome browser, and I can hit the Chrome button, it's going to pull up my web thing. I was watching uh, Daily Motion, right? It works fine. You can't really hit full screen real easily. Okay. Uh, but if you pull it up and it's pretty good size, you can watch TV, you can watch videos online, whatever videos you want to watch online through the browser. Not like nice full screen or anything like yeah. that. Actually, I hit full screen on Hulu on a show, Bird Notice, that I can't get on my Hulu Plus, so I bought it through Amazon for this season. Completely watching it on there. Full screen on full television. Full screen on television. Interesting. A little chunky, but as, you know, you would do if I plugged it. I used to plug a computer into there and watch hmm. it that way. Yeah. Looks yeah. just as good, you know? Not HD or anything, but um, oh. if you're in Netflix or YouTube, again, on the app or in the browser, uh, if you're in the browser even, and you hit a YouTube video, I, I hit on the Wrestling Mayhem Show video that's embedded on our Wrestling Mayhem Show website, Yeah, and it, it pushed it to through the YouTube quote-unquote app on this thing, on the Chromecast, uh, at that point, it really stops your laptop's interface and just works up there. Works completely solely through this device. Same with Netflix if you're going through a phone. I didn't test the browser. I'm sure it's the same way. Oh. So it's basically you take your, your phone, pull up your Netflix, you hit your little button, just like you were doing a screencast, uh, AirShare, I get or whatever, on, on, on an Apple TV, and then you can put this away. You can turn this off. It doesn't matter. I wondered what happened. Like, okay, so I exit out of Netflix. It, it still works. It's still I closed out of Netflix to make sure it was just off and not even functioning on my phone. It's, it's still, still working. working. I'm like, crap, how do I control this thing now? Because I just turned off the, the interface. And it does pull up a nice little interface on the phone of controls and time and a picture. I, I'll, I'll throw all these up there. Like There was a picture of Weeds, the poster from mm -hmm. Weeds you see on the, on the cover. And then there was a big version of it as it was loading it uh, up on the TV. Yeah. Um, I brought Netflix back up and started to hit play on something else because it wouldn't give me any controls and actually popped up something at the top that says, oh, hey, you're actually you, you're actually watching something through Netflix and you hit a button and you're back to controlling it. So there's a nice round trip, even on iOS, with that. Uh, and and it looks like it's about the same way on YouTube. 
Um, there's a lot more coming. Hulu Plus is supposed to be coming. Other apps are going to be coming for it. I really think this is, if, you, like, if you're like me in the early days of cord cutting, mm -hmm. where a lot of videos you want to watch are online, but not available through a Roku box, through an Xbox, or you don't have one of those devices, mm -hmm. I think this replaces having a computer directly hooked up to your TV. That scenario. With a lot less setup. And uh, the thing is, I have a smart television that I just got about a this month ago. This isn't for you. Oh, uh, but it is. Is it? There are certain things that you would think having a browser on your television <laughs> thinks should just work. But you're not running Flash and all that stuff. It does weird it players. It does not. Yeah, televisions do not let you update nope. that stuff. Oh, well, even Internet Explorer oh. on the Xbox is kind of weird. Um, yeah. But I really think, I don't think this is something, I don't think this is something that people getting their blue iPhone should be getting. You know, I mean, it's not really, you know... What about the pink iPhones? Maybe, the, maybe the pink different? iPhones. Maybe the pink iPhones. Okay. But I think it's something. If you have, if you're a home that mm -hmm. is already has a few laptops, a few iPhones, a few smartphones in general, Android, I guess not Windows. I don't think it works on Windows yet. This works, and it's thirty five bucks, and it's like a great. It I, it feels like a decent enough entry point hmm. as far as I want to watch Netflix on my TV. You know so. And, Good. That just brings up an interesting. I mean, everybody knows there are issues with Hulu, mm -hmm. and you know whatever on the smart TVs, it prompts you with "you must get Hulu Plus." So, I mean, hypothetically, I could be watching regular Hulu on my laptop, pushing it through Chromecast, yeah. and it works. I was doing that earlier today. How long do you think that lasts? Until they blocked it, it on blocked? Google TV, right? But apparently they're not doing it yet on this, or I don't know if they can, because hmm. I don't know if there's an there's an identifier for this. That's interesting. So, you'll see. Yeah. Uh, um, and and yeah, uh, and we talked about this when it first came out. If you look at this, uh, three of us on here. But I know the power adapter. Yeah, the code on it is MST3K. So and there was something about his hacker's guide to the galaxy on one of these too. Um, nice. I thought it was on this piece, but I think it's the other adapter. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, H2. Uh, uh, hold on. I see, and there's a number, H2G242. So, there you go. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I don't know. It, it, it's cool. It's 35 bucks. Um, I like the idea of having one of these on my TV. I wish I had more, like, HD TVs to check out. Yeah. yeah like, in the house. So, I could, like, take it upstairs and plug it in and I can watch YouTube because I have a Roku box but there's no YouTube and, and I'm trying to watch more of the stuff I like on YouTube um, it's nice to be like I pull up the, the Mayhem show I could pull up this yeah. show um, so uh, I, yeah I think it's a, it's a good option it's a good Man, option $35 I mean, compared to your Roku base price but think about $89, $90 no, no it's 50 for Roku For oh, I think but the one I got think was about, a lot think about though uh, you take this I know at the one job I work at they're uh uh, their projector as an yeah. HDMI port. So now you can take this. I want to give a presentation. I want to show off some websites. Say I want to go to PodCamp and they have a projector I can plug into. So mm -hmm. I don't know if there's a setup, but let's say you verify. Do you have a projector? Does it have this? Can I get on your Wi-Fi? I'm going to bring this. I'm going to show off my stuff that's on my computer that I can show through a Chrome browser. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's very like, okay, <clears throat> I live in Google Docs, so I can bring up the slideshow in Google Docs. Yeah. Sure, um, but that is a really cool option, yeah. isn't it? You know, I gotta think. So, am I going around teaching social media? Pull this up. You know, then you don't have to worry about wires and God knows what. You know, you yep. set this thing up and it's good to go. Um, when you, like when you send your class back, tell Google you, they owe you thirty-five bucks because I just ordered. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now, what are you, what are you looking at it for? What what, what what kind of use do you have? Or just playing around with TV stuff? Uh, and some of that, yes. Um, and some of it, I just, I was just looking at different options. Uh, I, you know, I, 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 we still have cable. I, I can't bring myself to, to cut that off completely um, until I, I find a, 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 a viable option to watch sports. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I, I want to play with this, and I want to, I want to see what the possibilities are. Um, I, I think, I, and, and for thirty-five bucks, why not? You know? Yeah, yeah, it is why, definitely why, why in that 
to that gadgetry why not zone, and that is exactly uh-huh. why I own one. It, it, exactly. Um, I mean, it, it looked it looked pitiful. It looked like a, pit, a pitiful little amount next to the, what I paid for the tablet I bought along with it. Yeah. So mm-hmm. you know, after and especially after what in a glass, it's like uh, get, yo Google. Like, here's you know, we're again we're throwing our wallet at the TV at this point. You know, uh, and 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 it works and it's simple and they did a good job. They got some good little designers that they probably stole from Apple over there. At Google. Yeah. Um. So. <laughs> I, 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 and I like to see it. I like it. I like that. You know, if you're saying, "Well, Apple's not innovating, doing something like that," well, here's Google. Frankly, I think taking a chance with this thing, you know. But it's a tiny chance in the long run. Um, yeah. But but a, any way to open that up, and I see, I, I think that's a, a cooler little technology than the Apple TV hobby that's been going on for the how many years? Yeah. You know, I mean, we, we've been sitting. We talked about it last night. AJ and I were talking last night. Like they opened this SDK. SDK, you know, I don't think they were going to, but it's like you, you do that. There's your little console right there that's already on a how many people's TVs, and you just kill it, kill it, but they mm-hmm. won't open it up, and, and maybe they got other plans. Who knows? So, um, the other speaking of video games, speaking of set top boxes, speaking <laughs> of all that stuff, and I just logged out of my account somehow, so I want to figure out why that's happening. Um, th- P- PlayStation Vita TV. So, yeah, you, you, have, you, have you looked into that at all? It's, I looked at a, a new little concept. bit of it. I okay. had not looked at it before until you just mentioned it. I read a little bit about it, and as of right now, I'm a little excited. You're a little excited? A little excited. Okay. This is my excited face. This is your excited face? <laughs> I'm, a little, I'm a little excited. So basically, <laughs> as far as I understand this, you get this little Vita TV. I, I think it's like 99 bucks, right? But it's not yeah. necessarily like a standalone thing. Um, it will, if you have a Vita, it will stream Vita games to it. If uh, you have a PlayStation 4. So I have this PlayStation 4 in my living room. Yep. I take this Vita TV. I go up in my office. I go up in the bedroom. I go down here in the basement. I, you know, whatever. I hook this thing up. I'm playing PlayStation 4 someplace else it's like the cable box of video game consoles and i like that it's it's like the good cable box of video game consoles now if you're not already like i if you're not already excited about sony and playstation and even the ps vita yeah i don't see you being real excited about this but this works for People in my, I don't know how many people have this issue, but my PlayStation Mm -hmm. is located in the living room Mm -hmm. where the main television is. And my wife likes television. So I don't get a PlayStation. This. This is, you know what you, you know what you, this, this is, this is exactly for you. And this is for exactly the same market that buys a Wii U. Because they need to get kicked off the TV and they're going to play their Super Mario Brothers on that little screen. Yeah. It's, it's the same thing, right? I have, a, I have a projector upstairs in my office. I could hook this up to the projector. Listen, listen. Little you know, little Jimmy wants to play his yeah. sly raccoon. Let him right? play. He wants to play. Let but, the kids but play. You want, but you want, don't want to put the PlayStation 4 in his room because you like that Blu-ray player so you can watch your Iron Man 3 here in a couple weeks, right? So you just give little Jimmy the little PS Vita, you know? You can monitor time because I'm sure you can't multitask. So it's like one of those, hey, is he being used on the other TV kind of things? Uh, I, maybe. 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 I don't Who know. Those cloud, multiple that would cores. also be cool for uh, you know, multiple multiple land party ish. Wouldn't that be crazy? That would be if awesome. If this is like I can call a duty and you're over here on this TV, it's yeah. like System Link without buying the second Xbox. That would be awesome. There is potential Ooh. here. For $99, there is a lot of nice potential. Yeah. Even like I had an issue with the football game. And I know, like, I could buy NFL, like, Red Zone or whatever. And here's the other thing. This thing, supposedly, anything that you stream, any of the video services available on PlayStation 4, on Vita, it pushes it, pushes right, it up. right over there. The only question is, I have a PlayStation, like, the first one, the PlayStation 3, when it first came out, like, I had that version 1. Mm-hmm. I don't know how much space is on there, but I am not one of those people that download my games. I still like the physical disc. I think, well, well, here's your problem. You Wait, wait, you have discs on your PlayStation 3, right? Yes. Don't you have to install it on the hard drive anyways? Yeah, but I still use the disc in order to play. My disc, oh, like, you, I, don't, I don't have I, to you, install. Wait, wait, so you you have an option that even though it installs whatever it needs to install, yeah. like, do you have an option that you don't have to use the disc? 
<laughs> I do, but I would have to like download and install it that way. Like I can't, okay. I can't just hit play. Like I can't go to FIFA yeah. without my disc in there. Yeah, and that's just the same. Say that's play. the same with Xbox. It installs the entire thing on the Xbox, like by choice. Mm-hmm. But you still need the disc to verify you have it. Yeah. So I mean, this is one of those things where you stick the disc in there and you walk away. And but I'm, thinking, I'm okay I, I really that. think in this in this they're going to have enough space and everything. They're kind of counting on more people to buy digital games i mean xbox is going towards that i don't know how many they've been doing steam like sales on xbox which has been really dangerous to my bank account lately yeah um <laughs> so it's in and my hard drive um it's uh, like it's almost like the one thing i would probably even do is i would take my playstation and actually hardwire it into my uh cable modem mm-hmm. so like instead of it going because right now i run it run it off wi-fi yeah so it would be better i plug that in and then I'm having a direct stream to the PlayStation, faster internet, and I just do the Wi-Fi somewhere else if I want to go on Call of Duty or whatever. I like this. I'm happy. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's do this now. All right. Uh, the stories we didn't get to, we got to wrap up here so we can go talk about video games. Oh, such a hard night, right? Um, <laughs> the stories we did not really get to, I want to touch on real quick. It's tweeted over all the social medias over the past week, so you can go find those and comment on them. Uh, this was passed. Oh, I'm so sorry. I can't remember who passed this my way. Or actually, I think it was retweeted by somebody I follow. Um, Google Glass had, oh, about 12 apps about a week ago. Now they kind of have 200 plus services, <laughs> but you have to pay for it. It's a service. It's uh, uh, I, I try connecting a couple things. There's kind of it's lame. really cool because it can do a kind of like if this then that kind of service. So hmm. if I get retweeted, then send me a notification on on Google Glass. There is one uh, one I set up that says hey. If I get a new subscriber on MailChimp, send me a message that says you got a new subscriber. How much Here's, are they charging for that? Well, uh, it starts at, I think, 10 bucks a month. It's free for up to so many notifications. So every time something pings through their service, if mm. I put at replies for one of my accounts on this, it's gone. I, I just blew through it. Yeah. You know, it, it's not happening. Um, but a, a lot of services, a, 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 you can have something, if something happens in Dropbox, it'll send you a message. Pretty cool for that. Um like I said, there's a free level of if you don't get too many, but you do want to get notified by certain things, you can go set it up. Yeah. It's called, oh, for those that are not, not on visual, it's called uh, Zapier, Z A P E I E R, uh, Zapier.com, Zapier, Zapier. Maybe they're French, I don't know. Uh, so go <laughs> check that out. Um, also, Zapier. a congressman hitches a ride in a stealthy self driving cadillac i was uh, very special because uh this congressman congressman is actually uh here in pittsburgh uh bill schuster really uh Re- republican from pennsylvania and apparently this is a carnegie mellon university project oh those guys Gosh, isn't that the airport <laughs> i look from cranberry to the airport from cranberry to the airport there yes. you go don't free and this is there's no lidar in that there's no big freaky antenna on top of the thing either so just some uh some cool the future pittsburgh centric stuff going on um and i had one more if i can get off there um oh remote controls uh, was added to the google glass android app so that glass app you can bring down on your like my nexus tablet or your phone or something um you can actually do the swipe motions and everything to go like to move in the timeline and make things happen um but they say from the article i read i haven't got to play with it yet um and i should before i send it away uh, uh the the motions are there but they think that an update needed to happen which happened this morning actually so that might be connected um so there you go you can do it that way cool so for showing off so so with that they, mike thank you very much for joining us uh I, I i hope you'll be very happy with your future pink iphone i um I, I actually, your suggestion about the yellow in this shirt, I think that's, that, that might be the way <laughs> awesome. to go. And you'll See never yellow. lose it. I have the biggest problem. No. I keep losing the Nexus 7 because it's so nondescript and black and just blends into everywhere I set. <laughs> I don't know how many times I've lost this thing. And it's so small uh, and probably easily snappable, you know? Uh, I, the, the, for the phone that you'll never lose. There you go. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Maybe, maybe the pink case. Maybe I get the yellow phone in the pink case. Awesome. Hey, you guys have been, had a lot of video going on over there. Are you in, uh, are you behind a lot of that? Um, I, I'm in, I, I, I do a lot of that stuff. Um, and, and actually, we're in sort of a lull here. I'm going to be starting a new show. Um, I the, the news break thing is sort of on hiatus now. Okay. Like if this one started, uh, that will, but that will be coming back. Um, but you know, we, we try to 
we're, we're trying to push reporters to shoot their own stuff. Um, that's where uh, the uh, the iMovie on the phone uh, helps a lot. Um, a couple of them are, are, are pretty good at it. A couple of photographers are into it as well. So there, there's a bunch of stuff like that. You can see it all at timesonline.com um, if you hurry because there's that there's that pesky paywall thing. Oh yeah, there's that. I, I got I had an article I was in and I couldn't show uh-huh. anybody. Uh, I, I still haven't shared that by the way. But thank you for getting that to me. Um, Absolutely, and you can you can read my column I wrote about the uh, about the keynote today. Um, it is up on the homepage right now as we speak. I just looked, um, and it'll be up there for free until you know, tomorrow evening. So. Go take a look. So it's going to pay if there's an RSS feed you can get on with this uh, and everything. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah, get on there. Mike Pound doing a lot of cool things there. Yeah, because I asked because I noticed because I have the – oh, there he is. There there he is. Uh, I, I have that cool little – and there's his wonderful face atop the, the byline. <laughs> 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 but nice. no, I, I well, I have a cool Lovely. like YouTube widget thingy on my on my tablet. I noticed over yeah. like this weekend or the one before, it just like exploded with uh, Beaver County Times online videos, and it wasn't like news break. And I'm like, what's going on here? Um, so it's cool to see you guys really embracing something like that. You know, and, it's 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 a it's a fun it's it's fun part of my job. Yeah, um, and, and, so and it's not like, do some more. and it's not like you guys are you know in no disrespect, but you know not a big city Pittsburgh or other market right. you know thing. So it's really cool you guys are embracing technology and hopefully become a little bigger you know thing because of it so that'd be fine with me awesome <laughs> malango <laughs> akbo Sambi. what's going on with the rambling mango you got, you got we got this podcast we mentioned at the beginning of the show yep uh yeah it's gonna be tied in with the rambling mango uh we're we're adding some uh stuff to that i actually finalized the 16 comic strips that i or the movies They'll be doing comic strips on okay. for the fall season. Excellent. So uh, they are up there. I think the next, the first movie of the fall season that I will be uh, tackling I, is the family. So uh, that's going to be the first one that we hit up. And yeah, I mean, there's a lot of work still needs to go to the website, but yeah, it, go. it's good times. There you go. So if you dig movies, if you dig uh, web comics, this is the place to go. TheRamblingMango.com. I don't think I put it right in your title, unfortunately. That's good. Uh, so <laughs> we got some Jack the Silent. We got a little bit of everything in there. So go check yeah. that out. Um, and there's going to be a lot of new content including the podcast. That website's there. actually going to change. Yes, it is. Yeah. It? Excellent. But, uh, but yeah, just just check it out. They'll, you know. You can find me there. At Rambling Mango on the Twitters. I'm over at Sorgatron.com, SorgatronMedia.com for everything we're doing. Um, between about a lot of tech, especially today with the Apple stuff. And I'm sure my impressions uh, as I continue with the Chromecast, continue with this delivery process for Glass, get the iOS 7 next week. Uh, it'll be fun. It's wrestling, tech, and what's on tv for me like, that's pretty much my life right now and that's what video <laughs> games too and video games too and that's why and that's why i do a podcast on each one of those um so there you go uh, and of course everything awesomecast.com no no not that it goes a 404 page right now sorgatronmedia.com for past episodes and all the connections for this awesome cast um you can check us again we're on youtube itunes all that kind of stuff, video and audio format, Stitcher as well. Uh, and you can join us live every Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time at live.sorgatronmedia.com. And stick around all night for the rest of the shows if you want to. we got a great chat room hopping all night. Thank you to that chat room. Thank you. You've been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. Hey guys, this week on Awesome Cast, we have so much. The Google Glass is back on my face. Chachi tells us about his final days with the device. Uh, we got a Pebble Watch in the, in the, ah, fuck, I saw a penis and it went away. <laughs>